Ever wondered why rubbing your arm after a bump, getting a massage, using an ice pack or even therapeutic modalities like TENS helps in pain relief? Well, there is actually a science behind it and it's called gait control mechanism. In this video, I'm breaking it down for you in the simplest way possible. So let's get started. So before understanding the gait control mechanism, you need to understand few things first which are related to gait control theory. The first thing is receptors. So basically there are two receptors involved in gait control theory. The first one is touch receptor and the second one is nocy receptor which is also known as pain receptor. Second thing is neurotransmitter. So there are three neurotransmitter. First two neurotransmitter are released. Then the pain is felt which means the gait is open. The third neurotransmitter is opiate peptides which is released from the brain to inhibit these two neurotransmitter which is your substance P and glutamate. Okay. Now let's talk about the types of pain. So there are two types of pain, fast pain and slow pain. Fast pain is carried by A delta fiber and slow pain is carried by C fiber. Now let's talk about the location of a spinal cord where the neurotransmitters are released. Okay. So location says, location is posterior gray horn of a spinal cord and the location are for A delta fiber it is marginal nucleus and for C fiber it is substantia gelatinosa. Now the A delta fiber release glutamate in the marginal nucleus and C fiber release substance P in the substantia gelatinosa. Now let's talk about the neuron types. So first there is first order neuron, second one is second order neuron and then there is third order neuron. In normal uh, intensity of pain, only first order neuron comes into action but when the pain intensity is too much, then the second order neuron and the third order neuron comes into action.